Landon Bunny, uh, how much do you want the season over, pal? <laughs> as much as them players want it over, I tell you what, that was like end of the season type of football game. That was that was terrible, terrible. It was. Everyone said about me, mate. It was like it was like testimonial piece. One, it? it was like oh. exactly, and everyone's picked up on it. Exactly how Paul Pogba described it in that interview in midweek, wasn't it? It was like nothing to play for. It's like, yeah. dear God, I said in the preview yesterday, we just want to see something back from these players. But it just doesn't look like they've got it in them, mate, does it? I mean, no. eight games to go now. Champions League well and truly gone. I think we already knew that. But yeah. for you, mate, I asked Beth before the same question. Is European football at threat right now in general, mate? Because Wolves winning today, even the Europa Conference is at threat right now, mate. I hope not because we need well the Europa Conference that's I don't want we can't be in that you know we need to get Europa at least I know I can't even believe I'm saying that it's just well, it, but it's reality because the players aren't good enough end of the story question right now sorry to interrupt you there mate it's like Arsenal probably going to get top four so that leaves us Spurs and West Ham and Wolves are we better than Wolves West Ham or Spurs right now not the way we're playing no not the way we're playing, not and at all. And our run of games isn't easy, mate, either. No, it's, it's a lot hard. Well, we've got probably got the toughest run of games, to be fair, out of the lot. Um, you know, you look at that, you think, yeah, you can tell, they, like I said, they've got, they feel like they've got nothing to play for. The worst thing that could happen to us is Arsenal drop points to give us hope. Yeah. That, that's the worst thing that could happen because these players don't want it. So, you know, the fans, we just have to kind of think, we're not going to get it. The players aren't good enough, you know, for all the work they do and the heart, you know, I'm not saying they weren't trying out there because they were, you know, I didn't see anyone walking really, you know, people they were putting it in, but they're not good enough and we kind of have to face facts. Is that the most disappointing out of today's game really, the lack of quality for you? Yeah, like there's just things like, you know, there's was passes. It was it in that forward area, without Ronaldo we looked like we were starved really, we just... There was nothing coming there. There was no sort of link up or sort of cohesion with any of the forwards, and we didn't create nothing. No, it was. Not say they're all ca like cowards, but the way cowardly football, I would say, as in it's all side to side, front pass forward and pass back. It's always the safe option, always the safe pass, and everyone has to go at Bruno for you know actually trying the harder pass. But I'd rather him try the harder pass than everyone than McTominay play side to side and then pass it back to Maguire, pass it back to McTominay, pass it back to Varane, pass it back to Dallo, then back to Maguire, then back to then back to Fred and then back to Maguire. It's Jeez. it's a joke. <laughs> exactly, it's a joke. I can't. I'd rather someone try something. Exactly that, mate. We we lack that sort of playing without fear, don't we? We don't. We play with fear. And yeah. I think Rashford today epitomised that when he came on, mate, because. I didn't see him wanting to risk anything when he came on. I thought, you just had three weeks off. Surely you've got something in there. You've got like a point to prove. But we didn't get anything again, mate, did yeah. we? He's got, to be fair, I understand why he's doing it because he has to go back to basics. He has to get, he has to go back to taking a touch and passing it back. He, he His confidence is, is shot. So he may have to do that to kind of build himself back up you know, confidence-wise, himself, because of what his kind of, his season's been. So I kind of understand why, you know, he's doing that, but then it doesn't help that the other players have been doing that. So it's kind of, you expect him to come on and do something, but then we've got to remember, he's probably been one, as hard, you know, I don't like to say, but he's probably been one of the worst formers over the last few months. So where's his confidence coming from? He's got people around him who aren't playing with confidence either. So again, you just look at the team, it's just not good enough. A, I'm going to spin a positive on it now, mate. We've planned the days out. We were talking who can partner Pogba in that too. Who can partner? Who can be the man? Right now we're looking at it. We're going, who's going to partner Fred? Because he's been playing he's, all right, he's, mate. He's, hasn't I, he's, he's been good. I, I like Fred. I don't know. <laughs> this, this, this new Brazilian Fred, I don't know where he's come from, but he, he's definitely not the Burnley Fred anymore. But i tell you what, he is. He's grown on me. Like, he's playing in his position. As in, he's not the sole holding midfielder. He's the one who goes and gets the ball, gets in amongst it. And he's got some tidy feet and he's getting goals. That's it, mate. Exactly that. He's, he's there where it matters, isn't it? I think he's doing more damage further forward. We, we've definitely, I think Ralph's uh, always, I think Ralph's actually identified now that 
Fred and he's the first manager to identify it. Fred's not holding midfield off. No. He's playing him in his right position, a bit more forward, and he does cause a bit of carnage when he's up there, doesn't he, mate? Yeah. And it's good to see that someone's actually come out of this spell with a bit of credit. Was was he man of the match today for you? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say he was man of the match. Um, Any other recommendation or anyone worth a shout before you go? Bruno was... I thought Bruno played pretty yeah. well, to be fair. I thought Bruno looked like hungry and like I said he was trying you know the passes that he always does and he wasn't giving the ball away as much and to be fair him and Bruno were probably our best players today. Cheers for coming on London mate. Cheers.